Welcome to Dude No Way Live, where we embark on a quest to play the greatest games of all time. I'm your host, Moonchild of Dude No Way, and today it is the power of game sense in Overwatch 2. We have a uh, an attack on Route 66. We already have a soldier, um, so I'm not going to get to uh, utilize him in this attack, uh, but we can expect that they will have a Widowmaker. And because of our success that we had earlier with Widow, um, I'm going to go ahead and pop Widow off the start here and if it goes terribly i'll swap and uh you know which it probably will uh <laughs> that's just how it goes uh, but the attack gives us the kind of freedom to do that because we have the spawn advantage at least for the beginning if we don't get any kills we'll swap off to something else the soldier will probably swap off to something ridiculous like a i don't know a sombra or a Farah or something like that so i don't see anybody off the spawn here but uh i'm gonna utilize this little tiny window here to put our uh, shots in downrange from uh, essentially complete safety. We can see that their uh, Reaper is um, kind of in a uh, position that's going to make him vulnerable. And uh, with the amount of damage that I've put in on this ball, it is impressive that uh, my team has not been able to uh, actually kill him yet. We can see there, there is an Alari all the way uh, on the other side. I'm um, kind of standing near the corner. Also a Hanzo. Just gonna wait here. Just waiting. There we go. Got that Hanzo pick. I don't know if they have a Mercy or not. Just gonna check. They do not have a Mercy. So that Hanzo will in fact stay dead. And we're just gonna support the team by making sure that the uh, Reaper is not up here killing our squad. We're just gonna expect that Reaper will come back, right? Just expecting that he will come back. And since he didn't, we're gonna pull ourselves back up here and um, utilize this uh, rock wall as a piece of cover for when they come from the top, which they generally do. Um, we're gonna crouch to um, ensure that we have a uh, line of sight with anybody who comes through with their head. Uh, but also we could just kind of look down here. Right. And there they are. Probably should have reloaded before this, but uh, even just in doing so, it has deterred them from uh, deterred them from utilizing that, uh, sight line, right? And now I can use the top of the gas station here to, uh, wait for my, wait for my shit to charge up. We're just waiting for Reaper to, uh, get stupid. And, uh, if need be, I can put the damage in on the Malga. That's totally fine. Utilizing our extremely long sight lines to uh, put damage in all the way down range. See the dragons are here. I'm just gonna not get killed by the dragons. The Lucio may come all the way back, and if he does, that's totally fine. Uh, because I can just drop down and uh, pull myself over to this health pack should I need it. Uh, but it doesn't look like I'm going to. The Lucio seems to have fallen back here. I'm gonna put one in his face, or one in his back there as he uh, retreats to let him know uh, that I am not the one. And um, now that we can see that the Reaper is um, intending to grab a flank on us, we can just utilize this uh, this kind of sight line here. And uh, the Malga wants to hit us, but we're not kind of, we're kind of not giving him really the opportunity to. See the Malga is about to come up top here. Just gonna take her head off real quick and uh, Put some damage in on the, uh, on both the, uh, Reaper and the Widowmaker, or the, um, well, the Widowmaker. Get on point, guys. We're not pushing the payload at all in this, uh, scenario. It's like, I, I appreciate what they're trying to do, but we need actual people, like, um, making it so that we can, uh, I'm gonna die here. That's good for him, uh, but he is burning. Zen, he's burning. Zen, Zen and the uh, Lucio are ego dueling each other. We're just gonna pop that just to make sure that we can see whether or not Zen and Lucio are still ego dueling, and also to give us the sight line that we need on anybody who may be uh, close by, like our boy Hanzo, um, and we're just gonna wait for him to peek. Okay, so now that I've taken damage, I'm just going to be more careful. 
And I'm going to pull myself up to the gas station just to get myself out of the way here. And I don't want to be um, getting killed by their Alari. So I'm going to drop down into the gas station uh, just to grab that health pack because I don't expect my team to be looking for me at all. And I, at this point, I could realistically utilize a stronger uh, DPS choice than a uh, Widow. But, you know, anybody who gets lifted up into the air, we can go ahead and take advantage of that. And that is, uh, that is strong as well. And same with Alari. Unless I suck, which I apparently do. That's fine. So now the Reaper is on top of me. And I'm just going to utilize this to um, uh, to get myself killed. And I'm going to swap off now. And knowing that they have a Reaper is actually uh, really makes me want to play Echo. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we have our team is dying to the Reaper uh, ultimate. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and regroup. We're just going to group up here. And uh, and then we'll take them out in, in a second. We got three ults online. Uh, we can expect that the um, Lucio ult will come out. So we should save the... Soldier ult until afterwards. Just gonna put some damage down range here. I'm not afraid of the Reaper at all. Um, as uh, Echo, he simply can't do enough to me uh, from this distance to uh, be able to kill me. Uh, but he is going to come down and uh, try and duel our... Um, Try and duel our Baptiste. Reaper 1. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate, huh? I'm going to try and get out of the way, but it's not going to uh, be easy. Just going to put that down there. Charging up my ultimate. Waiting for the squad. Again, putting damage in down range. We can see the Reaper is here uh, trying to reap. Um, and he's instead going to reap what he sows, uh, because I, not only am I not going to let him get any damage, uh, but I will kill him if he keeps being, uh, you know, too aggressive. And there it is. And there's the re the Lucio ult that I was talking about. And now we can utilize the attack visor, uh, in the next team fight. See, they really want me, um, but unfortunately, I'm not going to give it to them. I'm instead going to uh, utilize all of my uh, all of my extensive abilities here. And I'm going to utilize the uh, ultimate here for Reaper, just to put ourselves into the position we need to be in. I'm going to uh, float up into the air here and uh, get the kill on the Alari if she is still here. And she is not, so perfect. Everything went according to plan. Just utilizing our, um, we still have our attack visor. We probably could have had another one of those by now, uh, but it is what it is. We're just gonna keep it, keep going here. Um, so we can expect the Malga ult, we can expect the Alari ult. Um, both of these will be coming in this next team fight. And uh, if they don't, and we know that the Reaper has just teleported to our side because we could tell by the direction that he was facing um, when he started doing that. And uh, and there it is. That's two ultimates right there. So no big deal. Just charging up everything that I've got from all the way back here and uh, getting myself close to the next one. And the more, uh, the more damage I put in, the easier it is for me to uh, get my next ult. And I'm just going to wait up here because they can't see where I am. And... Uh, so now, okay, so we can expect the Hanzo ult. We know that Mog is going to have an ult, and we know that Lucio is going to have an ult. Both Lucio and Reaper are out here with me. Okay, Lucio is coming into you. Okay. 
I'm going to stay with the team now that I have no uh, movement ability and my beam is on cooldown. Um, Reaper above. Reaper above. Reaper's on the truck. Dropping down on you. And we're just going to put him into the dirt. We're just going to fly above his head since he wants to do the thing. We're not going to let him. It's going to be uh, pretty easy there. You can utilize this uh, damage here on the soldier. And now it's just the Alari up here. We're just going to put her down. And we win. And that's a good game there, dudes. Thanks for the fun. So that is a 9 minute 49 second win here on Route 66. Only two deaths. Um, you know, and I think uh, both of them were as Widowmaker. I don't know that I've died yet as Echo. Uh, but, you know, with proper ultimate planning, you can understand when uh, things are going to happen. And then you can utilize that to win yourself the team fights coming ahead.